Thanks to Rockin' IT for making this video possible. They offer all sorts of parts based in South Africa, so wait to the end of the video or check the link in the description to learn more. Hello everyone, welcome to Easy Studios, welcome to 2020, it's my first video of the year and I'm really excited to be trying out my Ryzen 5 3600 that I recently upgraded to compared to my old 3930K on LGA 2011. These CPUs are very far apart in architecture, however I overclocked my 3930K to 4.2 GHz which is in fact the boost frequency of the Ryzen 5 3600. So I'm really interested to see how these two CPUs compare in 2020 and to see how well they stack up against each other considering how far apart they are in age. But considering that they are both 6 core 12 thread parts and they are both running 32 gigabytes of RAM, the 3930K on quad channel and the 3600 on dual channel which is as you can go on that board. So let's see how they do after this quick build montage. So there we have it, the build is complete and I am super excited about this. Here's my old build for, in, for comparison and I really like that build, it was brilliant and the CPU really did perform pretty well considering its age. And now let's have a look at some benchmarks coming up and just to confirm we are on different CPU coolers and everything but really it doesn't really matter because we're comparing CPUs and the cooler shouldn't matter too much as long as they both weren't thermal throttling, which they weren't. So. Let's have a look at the benchmarks. Now I was going to have more gaming benchmarks but unfortunately I had a hard drive failure, the 2TB hard drive you saw me put in the bottom of the case uh, during the montage died because I managed to, well, drop it um, in the process but I did manage to run most of my benchmarks, the only ones I lost were my Premiere Pro renders as well as my CSGO benchmark numbers from the 
previous systems. So I would have had more gaming benchmarks and more productivity benchmarks, but hopefully you get the general idea. Pre Premiere Pro does seem to render a bit faster. The last video I did rendered in about one minute for a three minute video, whereas it used to be more like one and a half for a three minute video. Obviously that's just a general estimate for the kind of videos I make, but that is pretty much the difference between the two. It was very similar to the time difference between the DaVinci Resolve renders. Anyway, I would like to say thank you for watching the video. Obviously the Ryzen 5 3600 is a lot better than the 3930K, and it's actually much better than I thought it was going to be in certain tests. So I'm really happy with the old CPU considering its uh, age, and I'm really happy with the new CPU because it's much better and really isn't that expensive cons compared to some of Intel's new offerings. So there we have it everyone. If you'd like to have a look at my NZXT Kraken X52 install and review, that'll be in the link in the description and a card above. Otherwise, I hope you all enjoyed the video, and I will see you in the next one. There's a Discord server below if you'd like to join that. Otherwise, I'll see you in the next video. Thank you everyone for watching, and goodbye. Huge thanks to Rockin' IT for making this video possible. They offer all kinds of products, including PC hardware, drones, their own custom PCs, and more. All of this for a competitive price. Check them out in the link in the video description.